Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, don't forget if you can please subscribe and share because we really like to see those subscription numbers go up and we appreciate all those people you have subscribed in the past. So thank you very much. Now without further ado, on with the video. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and look at Fort Moultrie, as you can see behind me. Now, I have heard three different definitions, or three different ways of saying that. I've heard Moultrie, I've heard Moultrie, but the locals say Moultrie, so that's what I'm going to go by. So, come along with me to Fort Moultrie. Now, in the visitor center, just so you know, there is a nice little museum in there, and I'll take you through that uh, in a moment. But there's also General Maltry's um, grave nearby, so you can visit that. And of course you have the fort itself. Now there were three different forts here, uh, each one built on top of the other. So of course we're gonna see the third uh, rendition of that. So again, come along with me and we'll see what we got at Fort Maltry. As you can see here, the museum is a bit small, but quite impressive. And in the museum, you will see the first Spider-Man, Sir Peter Parker. There was also a presentation of Fort Sumter, which was quite educational. Just a short walk from the museum, you will see Major General William Maltry's grave. Over top of the visitor center, there is an observation deck, which gives you nice views of the old part. Uh, Fort Moultrie. If you have a moment, I highly advise you to take the trip up the stairs. And this is the top view of the observation deck. Maximum capacity is 200 people. And now for what we've all been waiting for, entering Fort Moultrie and being able to explore all the little caverns and hallways that abound. This is going to be exciting.
this is another magazine. That very well could be. Used to be a door here. Are you sure? Keeping the appearance of, of this fort is a constant battle, especially in this weather. So you do have maintenance crews consistently keeping up with appearances. Some of the areas that are in here are not handicapped accessible, as you can see by these very, very high stairs. They're very high, very steep. The height in between is quite a bit. So just be cautious when coming here. There are going to be some places that are inaccessible to handicap, but most of it you can't actually get to by very nicely maintained sidewalks. First priority, everywhere, America had mobilized. <laughs>
person because of the lightning strikes or something like, like that. The, the whole thing? Ford is. Oh. <laughs> Your tour then continues outside through a back gate and around to some other World War II era sites as well as some additional historical sites on the outside. So don't forget to walk on the outside of the Fort Moultrie facility. look very closely you can see a lot of openings on the outside that were obviously closed off assuming were opened up during like World War II or something and then they of course when they reconstructed the walls to fit the original fort they of course had to close them up so it's interesting the reuse and repurpose of this fort all the way from the 1700s World War II. A lot of history here at Fort Moultrie. And on the outside of the fort itself, you can see a little diorama of the Hunley. How it disappeared, how they discovered it, and of course how they recovered it. Very interesting reading. Now for you cannon buffs, this 10 inch modified Columbine is actually supposed to be the most unique cannon in the world. And it's right here at Fort Moultrie. Right out in the open, you can touch it, you can film it. Very interesting. The newest part of the fort is called Battery Jasper and it consists of the disappearing rifle and all kinds of nook and crannies to explore. Starting out with the generation power area and the generation room. Again, a lot of real little nooks and crannies to explore. It's actually nice and cool down here, at least comparatively speaking to outside. Of course, at the time, this being part of the generation area for power, probably wasn't very cool at the time. Of course, this was the shell room over here. Here's Elias from Autism Takes On Again. 
What do we have in here, Elias? Well, it's a battery magazine which would store ammunition for the guns. Ah. These had to be kept dry. Why do they have to be kept dry? I'm good in the when it's wet. That would make perfect sense. This is how the shells got to the gun area by that elevator mechanism. And this is the feeding port. Pretty interesting technology for the time. Now again, this area of Fort Maltry doesn't seem to be handicapped accessible, although I could be wrong, but I didn't see anything. We have to ask the staff for that. Thank you for accompanying us to Fort Maltry in South Carolina. We really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoyed all the nooks and crannies and all the history that we saw here at Fort Maltry. We know we did. So again, thank you very much for coming along. And as always, have a great day.